I'm Norma McCorvey, the former Jane Roe of the Roe vs. Wade decision. I was persuaded by feminist attorneys to lie, to say that I'd been raped and I needed an abortion. It was all a lie. All a lie. Since then, over 50 million babies have been murdered. I will take this burden to my grave. Norma Leah McCorvey. Norma was the Jane Roe of Roe versus Wade. In all of American history, it's arguable that the most controversial, divisive, and pernicious Supreme Court decision to have been handed down was Roe versus Wade. It's been hard enough for me to come out as Jane Roe. 1994, she had a book signing, and I came there. Norma McCorvey, as a result of what you have done, over 27 million little baby boys and girls have been slaughtered. And he tells me this, and it crushes me. I met Norma McCorvey for the second time in 1995. I really wanted Norma to go face to face with Randall Terry on that stage. I believe I speak for all of us when we say, we forgive you in Jesus' name. I will remember this for the rest of my life as I think anyone who was present there will remember it. Over the years, we became close friends, participating in multiple pro-life events together over nearly two decades. She even stayed with my family in our home for an entire month during a rough stretch in her life. This is what I really loved, everybody loved about Norma, was her humanity. But she was raw. She was raw in her humanity. She loved to be sensational. She loved to be shocking. She loved to be contrary. One time, Norma showed up with three big bags full of clothes from the local department store. And that bag of clothes with all that glitz, you just, to be loved is, is all you really want in life. And she did that for me as a friend. People paint a picture of a woman, a combative, wounded, tender, vulnerable, feisty, and at points, haunted woman. In the abortion belt, she had this, this eerie feeling. She, didn't, she never wanted to go back there where the freezer was, where body parts were kept. She felt like the freezer was gonna open, and, and that, like the baby would pull her in there and the door would be slammed shut and she'd be in the cold freezer. Got to spend very precious moments with Norma, her last last days. We were praying the rosary at her bedside. She was looking and seeing something or someone. She went from, where are the babies? She's concerned about the babies. Where are the babies? To look at all the babies. Norma said this. Far beyond that of the woman portrayed in books or articles or two minute TV interviews, this is a story about the Norma we knew before and after her conversion. Ladies and gentlemen, Norma McCorvey. 